When I posted my video about Netflix's new spatial audio rollout to its premium members, there were quite a few of you who commented, well, what about listening on actual headphones? Would it be better that way? <laughs> Isn't it weird how a lot of us will do that voice when we're reading on behalf of somebody else? <laughs> anyway, well, it just so happens that I got some wireless TV headphones just for that very purpose. So let's get into it. For this experiment, I got my hands on a pair of Sennheiser RS-175 wireless TV headphones. I've already done a little unboxing video if you want to check that out, but these are clearly not made to be on the go. Yes, they are wireless, but they do that via this RF transmitter, not via Bluetooth. But speaking of the transmitter, when you first remove it from the packaging, it is surprisingly light. Although that shouldn't be too surprising since I'm sure there are just some simple circuit boards in there. And that's about it. The headphones themselves are lightweight, weighing only 10.9 ounces, or roughly 310 grams for everyone else, which is great for long viewing sessions, and they are comfortable to wear. Although when I was wearing them, I watched The Atom Project on Netflix, and by the end, I had to take a break because they were starting to hurt the very top of my head a bit. But honestly, that's just me, because I typically can't wear headphones in general for very long, probably due to the shape of my head or something. I don't know. But these headphones are rated to have a wireless range of up to 320 feet line of sight. A pretty simple process here. First, you'll want to do a quick quarter turn to the left with these earphone cups, which reveals a spot for a rechargeable battery, which are included. Then repeat the process on the other ear. Now, if your TV has a 3.5 millimeter analog audio output, you would just take the provided 3.5 millimeter audio cable from the TV's output and plug it into the input here on the transmitter. Or you can use a 3.5 millimeter cable to connect the transmitter to the headphone out jack on a PC or laptop too. By default, this little switch here is set to analog, so just be aware of that, because if you would rather use the optical out from your TV, just take the provided optical cable that comes with the headphones and have it coming from the TV's optical out port to the optical input on the transmitter. Now, remember this switch here? Since optical is a digital signal, you need to put this switch in the up position. Lastly, since these are headphones that do not decode Dolby digital signals, you will need to switch your TV's audio output to PCM, and that should do it. Enjoy your TV watching in a more intimate setting, say if your significant other or children are asleep. As I said at the start, I wanted to test out Netflix's spatial audio through these headphones, so I watched the same standouts as I did from my previous spatial audio video, namely The Atom Project, Six Underground, All Quiet on the Western Front, and a couple key scenes from Stranger Things 4. The reason I chose these wireless headphones is because one of the features is a surround sound button. There are three settings, off, low, and high. But I'll be the first to tell you, unfortunately, it didn't do much for me personally. When surround was on low, it suddenly made the sound stage tighten up a bit, with dialogue becoming a little louder and certain sound effects seeming to have more space between them. It was okay, but that's the best way I can describe it. It's like a sensation of the sound pulling in a bit, which was slightly jarring. But even more jarring was when I put the surround on high. No bueno. It's like it suddenly became all channel stereo surround, you know what I mean? Dialogue was no longer in the phantom center, it was all around. So that was very off-putting. I didn't like it at all. But when surround sound was off and it was just stereo being stereo, dude, incredible. That Netflix spatial audio definitely adds dimension. Dialogue was crystal clear since that audio was so close to my ears. And not only did I watch Netflix movies, but I played my favorite Switch games, Zelda Breath of the Wild and Mario Kart 8, because I know the music and sound effects of those games so well. But even then, I still heard a level of detail in those sound effects, certain sparkly sounds, whooshes and weapon impacts, random shouts from other racers that I just wasn't familiar with. So you know Sennheiser's doing something right when you surprise even me with details like that. Now, there is also a bass boost button. It's either on or off. And while the bass boost was welcome when watching TV and movies and playing video games, it was a little fatiguing after a while just because it's bass that's blasting right into my ears and impacting my head, as opposed to a subwoofer that's rumbling my whole body, you know? 
and listening to music was even more fatiguing. But even with bass boost off, the bass response was still tight, articulate, and responsive. Not a ton, but not overbearing either, so I enjoyed it more that way over long listening sessions. Oh, and if you want to test out the surround and bass boost features, there are buttons both on the headphones themselves and the transmitter for your convenience. And since these are powered by RF signals and not Bluetooth, the sound can travel through walls. So you can go use the restroom without stopping your TV show or movie if you want. Just saying. But also, don't think this is just a solo endeavor. The transmitter base does support up to two headsets. So if you want to have a headphone date, or you and someone else in your household just want to hear dialogue better, you can purchase an additional pair, which by themselves are called the HDR175, if that interests you. So if you want to experience Netflix's spatial audio with even more clarity, or want to be impressed with subtle details you've never quite heard before, or just want to be able to hear dialogue better, these are impressive for the price. But honestly, I'd skip the gimmicky surround sound feature. It sounds much better when it's off. And use that bass boost to your own discretion. <laughs> and now it's your turn. Have you even tried having a home audio headphone experience? Typically, most people reserve headphone use for listening to music. But could this be your new outlet when wanting to watch your own TV shows or movies in a more private setting? Let's have a conversation in the comments below, shall we? As always, please be kind to each other out there. You truly never know what someone else is going through. Don't just watch TV and movies. Experience the detail you get when listening through a pair of RS-175 wireless headphones. And of course, always be listening.